Hello, everybody. Facebook Live here. Lindsay Price from Theater Folk and the amazing Marty Fowler from... I know, amazing, but hi. Uh, so Marty is part of uh, Interactive Educational Video, and they put out an amazing series, Practical Technical uh, theater DVDs, which you can find at on Theater Folk. There is a link in the description. Um, but we're actually going to talk directing. We are here mm -hmm. at the North Carolina Thespian Festival. Here we are. And uh, you were teaching a, a directing workshop. Yes, and it was. Specific for student directors. Right. Right. Yeah. So tell me about that. Well, um, the workshop talks about uh, how to select a play, how to read a catalog if you are haven't done that before, how to, uh, oh, after you select the play, how do you put together a rehearsal schedule, uh, how do you block your characters. Um, uh, I try to take them through all the way to... All the steps. Yeah, all through the way to closing night and strike. So when a student is uh, thinking about directing a play, mm -hmm. what do you think are some of the, the misconceptions they have about directing? Um, I think that many students think that directing is being the boss. Right. And it's not being the boss. It's collaborating with a group of actors who um, and it's more difficult when you are a student yourself yeah. because you're working with your peers. One of the ways that I suggest that students get past that is to, uh, when they're working, directing their their characters, that they actually call the their their actors by their character names rather than you know it'd be Lindsay. Yeah. No, uh, not saying Lindsay moved to stage right. If I'm Jessica, I would say Jessica moved to stage right. So like you're creating just a little bit of distance. Yeah, a little bit of of a a barrier there yeah. that uh, separates you. Now, obviously, you're going to go back to calling you Lindsay <laughs> when I see you in the hall. Right. But uh, at rehearsal, you, know, you become Jessica. You are the character. Right. Um, so if you are watching this and, and you are um, having your students direct, you've got some uh, good tips make sure you put them below in the comments um, you know this is something that we can share because it's something that is really useful in a classroom situation mm -hmm. right to give them the opportunity to um, to take on the chant take on the mantle of being a director and to sort of see and how that so goes. so they can see how difficult it really is. <laughs> it's, it's not just, uh, it's not, oh, well, the scholar shows up after school every day and you know, she just, she just, just me makes it up. Yeah, just, she you just, just makes, makes it, up. it up on the spot. No, 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 no. No. I had a director in college that used to make it up on the spot and he wasted a lot of my time yes. doing that. I always pre-block and, and that's another thing that I, I yeah. stress. Now, that doesn't always work. So if it doesn't work, then you can move people around and make sure that it works. But you know, go in with a plan. So one thing you do is you talk about um, you talk about French scenes, don't mm -hmm. you? So what's what's a French scene? Uh, a French scene is uh, starting at the beginning of the play, for example. Uh, I would look at a, a script and see what characters are on page one of the script. And then uh, it's kind of like a spreadsheet, okay? okay. So uh, I put those characters over on the side and then check mark on page one for those three characters. And then page two, look at it, and yeah, those three characters are still here. So check, check, check. Page three, check, check, check. Page four, whoops, somebody else comes in. Right. So I add a different character underneath there, and now my spreadsheet has got check, 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 check on there. And what this does is give me a basis when I'm going back to do my uh, rehearsal schedule. Right. I know that 
I can generally block about 10 pages a day. So a beginning point, page one, an ending point, page 10, and I know exactly what characters to call in. Yep. Now, if, if I were directing a full-length play, I could possibly, uh, I've got a French scene that has five characters in it. And then I could also look at the second act that has the same five characters in it. And I could do ten pages, but yeah. not consecutive. I, it, I think that's probably something that uh, that student directors or directors just starting out think that has to happen. If when you're directing, you have to go from beginning to the end of the play, all in, in consecutive order, and also time efficiency. Oh, time, time, time. You don't want it. Well, you just said it. You know, you don't want to uh, wasting having a director who wastes right. your time means that things just don't well, things don't get done. Right. And it's just really important, I mean, no, no, no. We're that down. student we're could be at home learning their lines, uh, or they could be at home doing other homework to keep the grade point up. Yep. Um, maybe they've got a babysit. Maybe they've got a job. There are, there are lots of things, but it's really important not to waste anybody's time, whether it's the director uh, or whether it's it's an actor. Well, and and now particularly, I think that when we're looking at at student time, they must be busier than ever. You know, oh, there's just there's so much that they have to do. How many of you out there have issues with you know students not coming to rehearsal, or um, you know that students have to leave rehearsal, or because there's there's so many other things that are going on in their lives um, so that if if as a director you can figure that out and I think that it's 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 all about that when you're talking about how do we get uh, students to direct about not it's not just the the create it's the creative stuff but it's also the management stuff well sure and uh, I mean this is just very practical yeah uh, why waste anybody's time yeah no, uh, it's it's very important to have good time management not only in the classroom but with your after-school rehearsals when you're talking to students about um, blocking and about how what are some what are some tips that you give on um, effective blocking of a scene well uh, I start off by pulling some students from the audience and uh, I'll have them stand in a line, just a straight line, and I mean they look like they're ready to do a kick line. Um, not interesting if they try to talk to each other, I mean there's, you know, it, it just doesn't work. What I find is that the students will naturally move themselves into a triangle. They're, they're uncomfortable. So then, of course, I point out that that's very common blocking, triangular blocking, if there were five students rather than um, three in the triangle. That's perfectly all right. Um, another thing that uh, I show them uh, are the use of levels. So uh, with a student in a chair, sitting on a sofa, sofa arm, whatever, uh, another one sitting on the floor, another one standing up, another one on a step. It just gives that interest in the blocking to mm -hmm. have them on different levels. Um, so those are, are some things that, that we talk about that, um, I, that students really don't think about. Uh, again, they walk on stage, stand in safe lines, or stand in, well, in, in a triangle. And, and, but uh, part of directing is creating a picture on stage, yeah. a stage picture. Just like you would paint a picture, you're painting a picture with real life people. So uh, you've got to make that that picture interesting. Yep. 
So yep, it is all about that, and it's about it's really interesting when I when I see st scenes that are student directed, just how not only do they do that line thing, they also do this thing mm -hmm. where it's you and me are having the conversation, yeah. and we're the only ones in the conversation, and that whole notion of it's actually not you and me, yeah, it's. You and me and you. It's cheating out. <laughs> it's cheating out. And that the audience is actually your scene partner, mm -hmm. which is, an, uh, that always gets weird look because they don't, that's something that it doesn't quite compute, except it's all about, it's, as you say, it's, it's not only is it collaboration that student directors have to collaborate, it's also communication. And what are, what as you, what are you as a director communicating to the people watching? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. Um, how, how long were you a teacher? Uh, I was in the classroom for 22 years, mm -hmm. and then I joined the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> I became an administrator, uh, first as a department what? chair. Yes. Oh, no. um, a department chair at uh, the high school that I at which I taught, and uh, a middle school, and I was responsible for hiring and uh, firing, um, also budgeting. Yeah, well, uh, sometimes things don't work out the way you think they're going to. Uh, budgeting, um, inventory, scheduling, more things that people yeah, we don't know about. All, yeah. all the, all the. Yeah, Nuts all and of bolts. that. And then uh, I went to the ad building and I was in charge of the curriculum and instruction for the the students K through 12 uh, and 100 teachers. What was your favorite play to direct? Oh, gee, lots of them. Uh, I loved uh, Complete Works of William Shakespeare Abridged. Yep. Uh, I loved Harvey. Uh, and uh, musicals, uh, I would say Anything Goes, and uh, probably King and I. Okay, so as we end this, what is your, let's do one for straight plays and one for musicals. So uh, William, uh, William Shakespeare abridged, you know, comedy, um, and... Let's talk William Shakespeare Bridge because that's one that gets done mm -hmm. quite a lot in in, um, in the high school level. So, what would be the if you're talking to a student director, let's say, what would be the number one piece of advice you would give for directing that show? Um, you know, my my collaboration with the students on that particular show took a different form than normal. Uh, I didn't cast particular parts. I cast an ensemble. Mm -hmm. And then we read the play through and uh, I had the students actually select the roles that they were going to do. Now that is a, what a big trust to have in your students to kind of go, okay, we're all going to be in the play but you're going to de you're going to determine what role you play. Were there fights for roles, or did they were they like you know they they were really good about collaborating. Uh, I had one actor that I was really surprised uh, during the initial selection process. He, he just he wasn't selecting anything, mm -hmm. and. When we came to, oh no, we left out Hamlet, he just smiled. <laughs> and, and they went, oh, we get it. Sure, you, you're Hamlet. There you go. So, uh, you know, they... It worked they, out. Yeah. It worked they, out. They, and they worked it out themselves. Yeah. Which was the, the big deal. Uh, and uh, for a musical, like anything goes, what is your, what would your, your for, for a student director who's going to take on a musical, which is a huge job, mm -hmm. what is a, what would be your, your tip for directing a musical? Um, actually, directing a musical, I always found to be a little easier because you've got those short bursts of dialogue mm -hmm. with a song. Um, I was I was a musical theater person, so uh, the blocking choreography came 
much more naturally to me. Um, but, you know, to have someone that can do that musical blocking and the choreography to back you up right. if, if you are not that person is, you know, just absolutely vital. Teamwork. Yeah. Having a team. Yeah. Okay, guys. So if you have any uh, direct, uh, directing tips, student director tips, put them below in the comments. Um, I've been sitting here with practical, technical, theater, uh, in, interactive educational video co-founder Marty Fowler. You can find the link in the description. Um, and uh, so we're finishing up our day here uh, at the North Carolina okay, Festival. So yep. And uh, and we're going to go out to dinner. We're going to do that. So you guys do that, and uh, we're going to go do that. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.